it is time. What's it? Young Erasani asking the chat. What is a frame trap? Hold on. You were playing at this game. You were watch less, Jay. Your kids say, Jay, you know what I mean. You got no money. Hey, all right. Thanks, Kanye. I appreciate that. However, we've got a lesson to teach. What is a frame trap? All right. Okay. So we're going to. Oh, let me get swap size. What is a frame trap, you ask? All right. Okay. The best character to show this example is obviously going to be Johnny Cage, right? Actually, no, no. I'll, I'll use the... Hey, that's not all I'll, I'll use the, a couple of examples, actually. In, like, the most basic way to explain what a frame trap is, is using, using the time of advantage you have to do another move that you wouldn't normally be able to do if you didn't have that advantage. So... Using what we got in the game here, I'll set him. This is normally on block, but it works on hit and block, right? The, the rules apply. So if you look at uh, the block advantage in the bottom left here, um, you take a peek at this block advantage here, the plus three. Uh, when it says just a number without a minus, it means it's advantage. So you're plus three frames, right? This is off as one one. All right? This starts off as seven frame high, and it leaves them at plus three on block. And Johnny Cage is a rushdown monster, and the reason he's a rushdown monster is because this leaves him at plus three, and this knee is nine frames. All right, you see, uh, um, start up nine frames. All right. So what that means is, in this game, the fastest move is uh, six fr six frames, which is Johnny himself has got a six frame down one. So what he's doing, and he's the only one with a six frame down one as well. So yeah, he does. One one, right? He's plus three, and he does knee. So unless you've got a five frame move, which you haven't, um, yeah, this is a frame trap. So like, I'll use an example showing Kenshi trying to mash his way out. By doing that, you go uh, record the reversal slot here, press down one, and then you go to custom dummy. Was it? Reversal, recording, not recording with navigation because that will record all the movement you did before the move you pressed. This is what we want. We just want the move we pressed. And then, all right, so if I press something, you should down one immediately, right? So if I do that and I get this right, he's frame trapped. He gets countered, you see? This is how you set up counter hits. All right, so what this then means is because you know you're going to get need in the face if you try and press down one, Johnny's pressure becomes... All right, so they're respecting the fact that they get need, which means they have to block. And when you block again, he gets to run that loop again. So he's going to either be plus three or you eat a knee. What one's it going to be? You must decide. And it doesn't also just work with um, things on block. Obviously, on hit, you're going to get way more advantage, right? So if you look down here, he's plus 23 on hit. So you want to know what you got on hit block? And what you got on hit. On hit, normally everything's plus. On block, normally everything's minus, except for like a certain few moves that a character might have. Because if everything was plus, then the opponent would just never get out, right? So, well, that's pretty much Johnny Cage in a nutshell, right? But you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, on hit, see his knee is plus nine, so he can do it again. His jab string is plus 23, so you can do whatever you want. That's how it works for up close pressure. But what if you're full screen, right? You can frame trap people from pretty much any distance depending on the character and what you're doing. So, uh, yeah, we'll switch to Kenshi. Get him to block, right? So, Sonya's ring. If you take a look over here, Sonya's ring is plus 18. This is from, from full screen. It's roughly plus 18. The further that this ring travels, the more plus it will be because Kenshi will have recovered soon, uh, like sooner if that makes sense all right and the longer you hold the charge it'll be more plus as well see how it's plus 102 now because i held it the whole way all right but to make a frame trap out of this right that frame traps you can't move you might be able to armor it or whatever but you ain't moving because this gives him plus 17 and that starts up in 17 so that is a don't move situation all right so when it becomes a don't move situation you can then start doing things like this, right? Which then 
opens up different kind of frame traps. So now you've got a full screen frame trap that makes someone respect another frame trap. So you do the little weeb run all your, on your way in. And now, because you've held the ring, like I said earlier, it holds it, it makes the plus frames even more. See, so look, this, this setup's plus 112. So what this means for Kenshi is, what can he do with that 112? All right, so you can do a couple of things off this. This is a different kind of frame trap, yeah, again, all right, so. That's that, it's plus 112. This, jails. All right, so jailing is when you basically, you actually cannot move, right? I'm gonna get him to do reversal armor, right? So enhanced shadow kicks, the fastest armor in the game. And if he blocks this ring, he can only armor whenever there's a gap, right? There's a gap in the string. But this hit, this hit is unarmorable, right? Kill it. No gap. So what that means is they've got to sit there and take this at least, which means they're probably going to take that, right? They might armor it, but who cares? Which then opens up the mind game of... Um, if we don't armor, right? So if he's not armoring... You're plus 100 and you just dash up and grab them. So now you're using frame traps to open up your opponent. Because you can't deal with a grab forever because this is going to be, this is going to add up. But if you want to deal with a grab, you're going to open yourself up to this. Or, or this, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much how a frame trap works. Other characters have got, well, I'll find some other examples. That Kenshi run one's quite similar to one Ashra has, right? Uh, who else got a good one? Melina Sector, right? So, Ashra Lao Melina Sector. So, Ashra, Ashra Lao over here is going to do... Well, she's got... Uh, actually, I'll show you a couple of things of her. She's got the same principle as the Kenshi Weave Run thing, if you watch. So, when she's in Dark Stance, she gets this dash that she can recover out of pretty quick. But when you fry on Low Hat and you dash with it, you're up close next to them. And as you can see, plus 74 in their face. It's a similar principle, right? So, with that plus 74, Ashra can do Overhead. She can do Throw. She can do whatever she wants. Literally anything she wants, she can press. But when you're in Dark Stance, right, she gets frame traps off of every button that you're going to use. So 2-2, two, two, dash, that's plus 1. Forward 2, dash, that's plus 2. Forward 4, dash, that's plus 1. If you, see, like, if you just keep an eye on these, right, they're all plus, right? Uh, what else we got? Back 3, dash, that's plus 1. And 1-2, one, dash, that's plus 1. So when it's plus 1, you're, you're playing a game of, like, is she going to check you with this? Like, you might want to press down 1 to get her off of you. But she can do this first, and if she hits you with that, it goes back to what I was saying earlier, which is, okay, she hits you with that, now she's plus 12. We can turn, restarts the cycle, and now she gets to do whatever she wants again. You know what I mean? There's also, like, there's other layers to this, if you're playing Ashra, and you know that someone's going to... Let's see, I'll try and see if this works against Melina. I'm not sure if this will work. But this is what we do, and use practice mode to find out. Wow, though. Alright. Okay, right. Gonna down one. Down one, please. Okay. Why am I so far away? Get closer. Okay, she's down one. Let's see if I can make a mind game off this. Well, I don't think I can dash far enough to make it work. Oh, you can. All right, okay. So where you got the the mind game of are they or are they not going to press down one? A lot of times you can make people press down ones and they'll just miss. Uh, let's see. What have I got that will... It's kind of hard to... Okay, see, if you make a miss, you can punish them with stuff like that. So, I guess... This, this might work against characters with shorter range quotes. But uh, Melina's got a, a long down one, so. And she's poking the wrong way. Poke the right way. Idiot. But 
but there you go. Like, the idea is that you can punish it, obviously, if you can get into whiff. Uh, and Melina, what was it? Melina Sector. We want to see what frame trap she's got. So, she can do stuff on hit. The thing with Melina, right? She's got frame traps all over the place with Sector, right? This is using your assist to set up a frame trap again in a different fashion, right? The Sector is an ambush. You can call them out after throws. Get that rocket to hit as they get up. And now you're at advantage. You've got a block. Let's see, look, plus 37 in their face. All right, so this is why this, this frame trap is so strong. So you can just do this until you run out of missiles. And then the other side of that, that um, option is it will hit you with something like an overhead, right? This is going to be the main thing she'll set up rockets from or, or this, right? So she'll do this. And then everything here is basically just do it and do whatever you want until the missile comes back down. And then after the missiles come back down, you have another frame trap. So there's it's a lot you can do here. So like you can do missile, that, that's a, a frame trapped into that. And then you get, and then you can do low, whatever, and then that combos as well. So there's, This is all coming off of frame traps that are then like forcing people to guess. And then the next layer of this is when they respect you. So let's say we'll go back to Asher because she's better to give an example of this. Right? When they respect the fact that you're a plus. All right, so you do that. You're only plus one. All right, I'll stop doing stuff. You do this. You're only plus one. But they know that you can do that first. So they're sitting there waiting for you to do that so they can punish your down one with their down one. But now you know they've given you leeway to do literally anything you want. So you could throw them. You could do like overheads. You could do whatever you want at that point. It's all a mind game. And that's pretty much what a frame trap is. Now you have learned. There's going to be like plenty of examples, but you can figure them out using that as your um, like baseline if you don't know already.